Hello and welcome to Japanese from Zero video series. This is part two of learning to count in Japanese. I assume you've already learned how to count from one to 99. If you have not, go back and watch part one of this. This is part two. And today we are talking about counting 100 to 9,099. And uh, 9,999, sorry. And I assume, again, like I said, you have to already know how to count to 99 or you won't understand this. We only have to learn two new words in order to count another 9,900 numbers. It's crazy. We already know 1 to 99. And the new words are 100. 100. 100 means 100. It means 100 and it means 100. Okay? You would never say, for example, ichi hyaku. It's just hyaku. All right? And sen. Sen. Sen means 1,000 and just 1,000. But you would never say ichi sen. You wouldn't have to do that. Um, there is something special. I'll talk about that in a second. Okay. So let's just go through them. Hyaku. 100. Hyaku. Ni hyaku. Ni hyaku. Now, it would be nice if hyaku, I could just say the number in front of hyaku and it worked. Remember with 10, we could just say ju, niju, sanju, yonju, and it worked all the way through. There was a ju at the end and it worked. But with hundreds, it's a little bit special. They have special versions. For example, 300 is not sanhyaku. It's sanbyaku. Sanbyaku. Okay? It can never be sanhyaku. It has to be sanbyaku. And I apologize for that. All right. I mean, I tried to get to Japan to change it. Like I sent off an email to Prime Minister of Japan, uh, Abe, and he he didn't want to do it. He said it's like a tradition. It's a history thing. And he also said Sanhyaku is hard to say, and I agree with him. Sanbyaku. Sanbyaku. All right, 400. Go back to our pattern. Yonhyaku. Yonhyaku. You can never, ever say Shihyaku. My God, that's hard to say. Shihyaku. You have to say yon. So, 100, 200, 300, 400. And 500 is 500, 500, 500. Six again becomes weird. You cannot say 600. You have to do 600. 600. It becomes a double P. Now, when you learn hiragana, this will make a lot more sense. Right now, it doesn't make sense. It just feels arbitrary, like they just made it up. But there's rhyme and reason as to why this happens once you know some hiragana. So this has to be 600, 600, and 700, 700. 700 can never be 700, just can't do it, 700. And 800, 800 can never be 800, it is 800. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 800, 900, 900 can never be 900, all right? So you'll see a pattern that we had 40, 70, and 90, okay? But you tip, you don't have, just like we don't have 60, 70, I mean, uh, um, nana, yeah, that was right. You don't have 70, and you don't have uh, 90, typically. You can, but you don't, typically. Uh, it's the same thing. Here it's 400, 700, and Kyuyaku, and these can never be the other versions. All right, pop quiz time. Here we go. First number is this one. I'll give you a moment to think. Raise your hand if you thought it was Ichi Hyaku Niju Ni. Sorry, you're wrong. It is just Hyaku Niju Ni because Hyaku by itself means 100. Okay, next number. Do you know what it is, Evie? I don't know if Evie knows. I caught uh, Evie last night walking uh, in the park. It only took me 14 balls. And then I said, screw it. I'm using a great ball, and I got her. Uh, this number, which is not on the screen. I'm sorry. I apologize. Wow. Maybe you need more time. Evie distracted me. This number is 220. So you see how that works? 200. 
two tens and two, I didn't even tell you the pattern, but it's so easy once you see it that you know it's the same thing. Just like we made the smaller numbers by adding together, you add these together. Ni hyaku two hundreds, two tens, and a two. Very easy. Next pop quiz, 333. All right, so you should know it's gonna be three hundred, three tens, and a three. So it is sanbyaku, sanju ni. Oh, I'm sorry, I was still thinking the last number. Sanbyaku sanju san. Sanbyaku sanju san. 333. All right, here's where we get fun. A little bit of fun. This is 117. This is the oldest woman ever to live in Japan. Actually, the oldest person ever lived in Japan. Her name is... Misao, Misao Okawa, but you know Japanese say their last names first. So actually her name in Japan would be Okawa Misao. She's already passed away, unfortunately. Uh, but she died at the age of 117, which is Hyaku Junana. Hyaku Junana. You could say Hyaku Jushichi if you wanted to. But when you learn how to say your age, you always will say your age with Junana. So most people would not say that. Hyaku Junana. All right, next number, 195. Did you know that there are 195 countries on Earth? That's not counting Taiwan because uh, we don't recognize Taiwan as a country, unfortunately, because China doesn't want them to be recognized. But if they were a country, it would be 196. Uh, I personally I personally think it's a country. Until I do Chinese from Zero book, where I will say, no, absolutely not. Taiwan is not a country. Uh, so this number is 100. 95. It cannot be 90. Okay? It's 195. All right, next one. Oh, this one is related to Eevee. Next one is related to Eevee. 720. 720, that is the official amount of Pokemon that exist. I heard rumor of another one that starts with a K. I don't remember the name. But that's not official. It has not officially been announced yet or or validated. There are 720 Pokemon. Nana Hyaku Niju. Nana Hyaku Niju Pokemon. All right, next one. Ni. Oops. I gave you the first number. 270. There are 270 electoral votes required for us to, uh, for someone to become a president of the United States. They have to get 270. Actually, is that right? You know what? I think there's 270 total electoral votes. I think that's it. Uh, if you don't know American politics, don't worry about it. Psh, totally boring. Uh, 270. 270. This next one is for everyone living in England. 999. This is the emergency number in England. In America, it's 911. Coincidence. Or is it? In Japan, it's 119. And actually, in England, you can also dial 112. But how would you say that as a 999 number? 992. I'm sorry. What did I just say? Who, who knows what I just said? I said 992. I said 992. For some reason, I want to end in twos today. 992. All right. Now you can count up to 999. Now we learn one more word. Sen, right? And we can do the thousands. Sen by itself means a thousand. You will learn later on. You can say isen for some things, but you don't have to. Right now, it's always going to be sen. That means a thousand. Two thousand is ni sen. And unfortunately, just like hyaku had sanbyaku, three is our problem number. It likes to change it to san zen. If you say san sen, it is wrong. It must be san Zen. San Zen. The good news is, everything else gets pretty normal after this. Yonsen. Yonsen can never be Shisen. Shisen means line of sight. It's a different word. Yonsen means 4,000. Gosen, 5,000. Rokusen. Now, it is Rokusen, but Japanese kind of say it fast. And it becomes like the U sound disappears. It becomes Roksen. Roksen. But it is Roku. Rokusen. Roksen. Nanasen, Nanasen can never be Shichisen. 
That sounds like an English word. Citizen? It's wrong. Nanasen. Hassen. Hassen can never be Hachisen. It is Hassen. And final one, Chusen can never, ever, ever be Kusen. Sounds weird to me, but that's because I grew up in Japan. Kusen. All right, for the thousands. All right, let's do some pop quizzes. I know, look, honestly, these pop quizzes are hard when you're watching this video for the first time or if you haven't been through the, the video itself ever uh, or the lesson, I mean, ever, but it's not bad when you know these numbers. So let's look at this number. 1972, that's the year I was born. That's right, I am year of the rat, Nezumi. And this is the year that Okinawa was returned to Japan. After the war, America made Okinawa a territory. Did you know that? Until 1972, from the end of the war to 1972, Okinawa was an American territory like Guam. And then in 1972, we gave it back. And that year is 1972. 1972. Next number, Pluto. What is Pluto doing here? Pluto is here because I believe that 2975 will be the year that humans finally begin living in, um, I forget the word, in cities, I guess, on Pluto. I, I couldn't come up with anything else for 2975. You have to give me a break on that one. What's the word? Not terraform. There's a word for it. Help me. I don't know. I don't know the word. Anyway, the, the year would be 2975. That's when we populate planet Pluto. Man, if I could remember that word, post it in the comments, please. All right. This year is 2016. The year is 2016. This is a little bit tricky because there's a zero and it's confusing. People always want to fill this up with something. Uh, this is the year that oh, we almost elected Trump. Whew. Man, ah, uh, when we're watching this in 2017, we're gonna be like, oh, thank you that we did not. And take two. This is the year that we elected Trump. Oh my God, everything went crazy in America when we elected Trump. You can choose whichever version makes sense for you. I'm hoping it's the first version. This is 2016. You don't need anything in the 100 counter. You're just saying 2000. And 16. All right, 2016. Also, Japanese people don't do like we do in English. In English, when we say the year, we say 20 and then 16. You can't say Niju Juroku to mean 2016 the year. You have to say the whole thing, Nisen Juroku. And the final big number is this. Uh, time for me to <clears throat> get some drinks here. Mmm. I go to McDonald's, I'm starving. Ah, oh, speak number. Um, this is the last number that's easy. That's why I have the brain down there. When we do the counter, the numbers after this, it gets a little bit more kind of awkward because we talk about a concept that doesn't exist. Uh, before I give you this number, I'm going to tell you that in English, you can have 999,000. That means there's 999 units of 1,000. In Japanese, 9,000 is the last unit you can have. They have a counter above, I'll just tell you, they have something called 10,000 counter, which we will learn in the next one, the 10,000 counter. Oh, my camera's flashing, so we're gonna end. We're gonna learn that in the next one. This is Kyusen, Kyuyaku, Kyuju, Q. Kyusen, Kyuyaku, Kyuju, Q. I'll see you all on the next Japanese from zero. Bye-bye.